Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a very dynamic transition inside of After Effects. Now, the best part about this transition is that it completely depends upon how the video is shot. So if you have a different camera movement in your videos, the transition is going to look different and you can create your own unique looking transition using this technique. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be 1920 by 1080. You can go with 4K if you want to, depending on what kind of footages that you're using. And I'm gonna set this at 20 seconds. Let's call this render as our main render comp. Now talking about footages here, I have a few footages that are downloaded from artgrid.io. Artgrid is a website from where you can download stock footages but unlike any other website who offers stock footages they are very selective with their video library and therefore they have some amazing curated collection of high quality video stock footages and the website itself is super cool you can not only browse through the different video themes that they have but you can also browse through short type like framing camera movement timing location speed and so much more they have three different subscription plans that you can check it out whether you are a filmmaker or a content creator using this amazing footages can be super helpful so for more information check out the link in the description below with that said let's get back to the video so getting back to the video here we have our new comp let's drag and drop in our first footage i can hit s and scale that down so let's keep it at around 50 percent because the footages are 4k and our comp is 1920 by 1080 but as i said before you can go with 4k as well so here i have my footage and here you know our island or uh, this section of the kayaking people is getting revealed right here so i want my footage to get uh, a bit speed up at around um, let's say four seconds so I'm going to select the layer or select the footage, right click and go into time and enable time remapping. Then click on this uh, small icon that you see right here, this diamond icon, which is going to create a keyframe right here. Then I'm going to go at around, let's say I'll go at around 10 seconds, which is six seconds forward in time from four seconds and then create one more keyframe right here. And if I now drag this keyframe at around, let's say I'll keep it at around five seconds. Now you can see we have this footage and then it speeds up because we have compressed the six second time into just one second using the enable time remapping and the keyframe. Now it looks pretty weird at the moment. So what I'm going to do is go right here first of all and hold alt and right square bracket to crop this layer, select the keyframes, go into the graph editor right click and make sure you select edit speed graph and here you can see we have these two keyframes all right so now what i'm going to do is select this keyframe right click go into keyframe assistant and click on easy ease out so we get a pretty good curve now we need to fix a few things here in order to make our video smooth so to do that i'm going to first of all move this point to line up with this point that i have and then drag this handle making sure the point still lines up so that our video stays smooth and then it speeds up right here so i can just simply drag the handle just like so we can increase this if we want to and now if i preview this you can see our video eventually speeds up and that is what i am looking for right it looks pretty good but you can see here it looks a bit choppy so in order to fix this we can add a little bit of blur or motion blur to this so to do that i'm going to go into effects and preset and type in motion and we will be using this pixel motion blur i can just simply drag and drop it onto our video and boom right off the bat 
we get a very nice motion blur now it's going to be a bit heavy on the system but the results are going to be super nice we can increase the shutter angle to around i like to keep it at around 240 and this is going to give us a really nice blur as you can see now it's not as real as the real motion blur basically that we get with the camera movement but it's going to get us uh, it's going to help us to get the job done so if i preview this Yep, I think it's looking very, very nice. Just the way I wanted it to. All right, so our first footage is ready. Now let's drag and drop in our second footage right over here at five seconds. Also, I'm gonna scale that down at around 50% again. So we have this nice footage. So I'm gonna use this footage from probably right over here. So I'm gonna hold Alt and left square bracket to crop that up. Let's drag it and place it at around five seconds. All right. And then right click, go into time and enable time remapping. Let's go at five seconds and I'm going to create a keyframe by clicking on the small icon. That is the diamond icon that you see right here. And I'll go six frames forward in time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, eleven seconds. Create a new keyframe right here and drag that keyframe to six seconds then i can select these two keyframes go into the graph editor and then i want to select this point right click go into keyframe assistant and easy ease out so we get again a different um curvy graph so we need to fix this so i'm going to move this point right over here so it aligns with the line right here drag this one as well so it aligns with this line and then drag the handle to the left just like so and this one i will drag it to the left as well so make sure all the points are aligning with each other so that the movement looks smoother so now if i preview this you can see we get a really nice transition looks pretty dynamic i think now the one thing that i want to add here is the pixel motion blur so i can just simply copy this and paste this onto this footage as well so we get a really nice motion blur and now let's preview the complete transition and i think it's looking pretty amazing now you can add more footages to this and create a complete segment of maybe a video or a b-roll i don't know you can use it in different number of ways and um, as i said before you can download some amazing stock footages from art grid and try out this uh, cool transition with different footages it would look different and cool as well now that our video is ready it looks good but how can we actually you know make it feel good the best way to do it is to use some good delicious music and this is where artlist comes into place artlist offers authentic high quality music at a subscription fee of 199 usd for a complete year and you can download unlimited music tracks for your videos no complex licensing you can just download the music use it in your videos and it's that simple also browsing the artlist website and finding the right music is super easy you can browse through all this different categories and genres so make sure you check out artlist if you're looking for some high quality music the link is in the description below so i'm going to use this track that i downloaded from artlist i'm going i can simply just drag and drop it here hit l two times to reveal and see the graphs and i'm going to place it right over here so it goes along with the beat and now i can just add a simple fade in for this so i can just adjust the audio levels using the keyframes and and also i can just pretty quickly add some cinematic bars by hitting ctrl y creating a new solid called this bars and hit ok uh, i can turn on the title action safe and create a mask this is the simplest uh, and the quickest way to actually create those cinematic letterboxing or cinematic bars whatever that you want to call it and just click on invert and boom there we go and now let's actually uh, preview our complete video
and as you can see it looks super cool you can use different footages and experiment with this amazing transition so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comment section below if you find this video useful with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out